show you how to do some cartoon shading here within ArtRage. Uh, start off, I just have some flat colors here on this little uh, pencil guy. I just blocked in. Uh, using the art pen is usually uh, what I like to use for blocking in colors. Uh, so this little guy here. Um, let's see. Anyways, to start some shading, one of the first tricks we need to do is we want to lock the transparency on this layer. And the way we do that is if you just go up here and click the little uh, lock transparency icon, turns into a lock. And now you notice that if we start coloring a color, it won't go outside of the color that we've already painted. So uh, we'll start there, so that'll help us. That way we can do uh, highlights on the side without getting, uh, without having to go back and erase. Okay, so I like to use the airbrush. I've tweaked some of the settings on the airbrush here. Um, this out of the way. Uh, to, to get it just how I, how I want to have it. And so you see I saved a little preset here, Eric's airbrush. And you see I've pretty much I've turned the hardness all the way up, pulled the opacity down and the pressure way down. Uh, I usually like to have the pressure way down just because uh, the pressure sensitivity is it reacts a lot better on my tablet. So, anyways, I will start out by picking uh, a highlight color or a shade color. Actually, we'll start with a shade color for uh, Mr. Pencil over here. So, we'll just go with like a, maybe something like this, a little bit brown, maybe go more red with it. Somewhere in there. Alright, and then I'll go with a bigger brush. With something probably around... 34. And you'll notice you can change the brush size just by clicking and dragging in this area here. Anyways, so then um, I'll just start shading just right in this area here. This is where the shadow is going to be. And I might like a little bit more saturation, a little bit more red in there, so we'll pull that up. There we go. You know, and I can get a little bit into the teeth, it's not going to matter. Um, Probably just use the same sort of a color, maybe a little bit more brown for up here. Okay, so just quickly add the shadows and then go to sort of a darker purple and just shade that. So, and, and since it's the airbrush, you can also uh, go in here, like if you had that red, and you can just kind of lightly fade it off just by doing several iterations. You can go through and do that as you want. Uh, I may pull my brush size down a little bit and just give them a little bit of shadow under this eye. Maybe here, and maybe a little bit of shading behind the nose. So something like that. Maybe under the chin, too. Okay. And in here. Okay, so now I've finished just the, the shading portion of this, so now I want to go through and add highlights. Uh, so we'll pick a lighter yellow color. Almost go to, towards a white. Maybe go a little bit more green just to have some fun with it. And we'll then just kind of edge these highlights in like that. So we just get that edge lit up. As such, yeah, we can do it on the eyes a little bit too. There we go. And uh, pull down the size a little bit more. And we'll get just the bridge of his nose here. Light that up. And I, I basically have the pressure sensitivities mapped to uh, my uh, my opacity with my brush here. So, anyways, and then we'll go through and add some highlights down here to the metal area. You know, maybe if I wanted to, I'd come back and add some of the shadows back under this. Uh, if you don't already know, if you hold down Alt, you can switch to a color picker. So you can just pick some of the shadows that you already painted. And you just go back on, under it. That's an easy way to get back to some colors you may have already had and uh, thought you might have lost. Okay, so now I have highlight and I got shade. So the last thing I want to add would be some rim light. So uh, we'll make things interesting and go with maybe a kind of a pinkish rim light. So pinkish purplish like that, make sure it's a lighter color. We'll bring up our size a little and here we'll add the rim light. Uh, I don't know, maybe maybe we want to go a little bit more blue with that. So 
there. Adding the rim light. I do this. There we go. And maybe you can put some rim light in the eyes. Although we didn't do some dark areas in the eyes, I guess we could go back and do that. Okay, and then we could add the rim light. Okay. Maybe a little too heavy. I do real quick. Slightly go in. Okay. So, anyways, that's the gist of this. Uh, if I wanted to, I could pull my brush size down, maybe get a little bit more white highlight in the teeth. But really, what I want to do is for my ultra white highlights, I will then go and create a top layer. This is up here. And uh, get a good brush size. And then we'll just add in some. Just overall highlights that can be on top of everything. So you can see it'll go on top of the line work. And definitely want to do that down here in the metal area. Okay. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, I'm just doing this really quickly, and you can spend a lot more time to get some more detail in your shading. Uh, one other thing you, that may be fun to do is if you select uh, your actual uh, pin layer, you can lock the transparency on that as well. And what that will allow you to do is uh, it will allow you to self-color your lines. So for instance, you'll see as I just drag over here, here it's only coloring the black, which is great because uh, then what I can do is switch to a really soft airbrush. So I'll just do this big and subtle preset here and we'll go for like a brown, burnt umber sort of color and maybe just kind of start hinting that in here and we may need to do it a little bit more brighter there we go so there you can start adding some kind of self color to your lines we could do maybe a purple for this the metal area down here yeah I like that, I always like purple on my self color lines and back here. And uh, one last thing, if you don't already know, is sometimes if you'll paint in layers, you do yourself a big favor because uh, one thing that Art Rage can do is it'll let you take your layer and then you can uh, go and you can uh, mess with the, your color in your layer. And you can do that under Edit, I believe, Adjust Layer Colors. And here you can just shift the hue. And you can see kind of some different looks. This is a little bit extreme for what you might want to do. Uh, but you can see if, if I had painted just the yellow of the pencil in that one layer, it would have been an easy way to go in and just see what some different looks are with that. And that's right. That's with just the flat colors. I'm going to switch that off and, and show you the same. Well, I, I guess that's the shading as well. Anyways. Uh, but I particularly did that. I just made some different colors here for my background, and then you can go in and adjust layer colors, and you can just see what some different uh, background shades might uh, add or, or take away from your painting. So anyways, I hope that helps, and let me know if you have any more questions.